Xbox Showcase has come and gone. And Bethesda Showcase has come and gone. Well, they're pretty much the same thing now since they're both owned by Microsoft. Anyway, these are my thoughts on the showcases and games that interested me. Unfortunately, there's only two that interested me. And sign off with this one by Blizzard Entertainment. And you know, most of us, it's Overwatch 2. I never played Overwatch 1. And with this cinematic trailer, it looks good. It's nice to see, get to know some of the characters, because I know nothing about Overwatch. Nothing. Not one bit of it. And it says a new era. True, a new era for first person shooters in Overwatch 2 begins. So we see some of the heroes gameplay, we see the combat, and it comes out this October. Interesting. I bet every one of the old characters are returning, even though I know nothing about Overwatch. And it, ooh, it's free to play. I know I already saw this, but I'm still amazed that this game's going to be free to play. Very, very interesting. We see more gameplay, some cinematic cutscenes, and well, I'm probably going to play this. Like on Xbox Series X since it's free to play. I don't know if it's coming to PlayStation, but the ad said PC and Xbox consoles, I think. I'm not sure if it's coming to the Xbox One still, but we'll find out. Early access October 4th, 2022. And the final big one is the one we've all been waiting for from Bethesda. Their new IP, their brand new original idea. Well, it's not, a, well, by their work. We finally get a peek and we actually see gameplay of Starfield. We finally have a setting, and the game is set in 2330. Oh my, that is way far into the future. And we see the moon, that no one, some moons in the gameplay. And we also see really cool stuff in this. And of course, it starts out first person, and thankfully, we can play in third person mode. When I saw this, I was like, it's not a first person only game. Not that I don't mind first person only games, but I like both perspectives. As we see in this trailer, we see 
the wildlife and looks like these things won't attack you unless you attack them. And this looks like a really good graphics look good. As we also see in the trailer, there's a photo mode in this game. First Bethesda, like RPG to have a photo mode, I think. I could be wrong. And as we see scavenging. And you also jump high. It could be a jetpack, but this could be anti-gravity. Because, like in space, there's no gravity. Barely any. And we see the first thing at the combat, and it just looks great. Like, I'm just so excited to play this game. Like, there's really, like, nothing. Like, I'm almost speechless how amazing this looks. This could be their best game, and I like Skyrim the most, since it was my first Bethesda game. Then in this, we also see looks like there's saves, like codes are supposed to crack. And you get a new weapon or something, which there'll probably be a lot of loot. Just, oh boy, that gun recoil looks great. For a Bethesda game, this looks just amazing. I know I've said that multiple times, and I'm repeating myself, but this game has me on board already. Just already. Yep, it was a jetpack, I was right. Like, third person gameplay. You also see them land on a planet. Looks like a city planet, New Atlantis, planet of Jimison. I couldn't read the full thing because it was too quick, but looks like we have planets with cities. Just. Everything about this game looks amazing. Like the technology is going to be great. Facial animations look great. Everything just looks great.
there's also character customization, of course, it's a Bethesda game, choose who you want to be, and the customization looks amazing, I'm not sure if we can only play as a human, we might be able to play as alien races, but who knows, like, they didn't show much, but, of course, there's special abilities, perks, that have consequences, ups and downs, Then you can even build your own settlements slash base. Now that's something that excites me. Hopefully it's better than Fall Wars and not repetitive. Like this just looks fucking awesome. And, and this part got me excited. You can even build your own spaceship. Wow, I know, and hire a crew just like I always wanted for a space RPG game. You can customize and like pick what you, where you want. Just, just wow. This game has me on board. Todd Howard can take my money. Game Pass or buying it on physical or digital. You can even fly your ship and wade into space dog fights. See. So some of the predictions that I wanted, like the Conquer Planets, looks like it is coming true. Like, this is awesome. You can even fly it, shoot. And apparently, according to Todd Howard, and yes, I know he's lied before, we can land anywhere on the planets, which is awesome. Which, ugh, this game just looks awesome. I know I've said it numerous times, but what's there to say? I've always wanted a space open world RPG. When I first started playing RPGs, I played Medieval, I played post-apocalypse and now this is a dream come true I've always wondered what space would be like so much cities so much planets we can even hire followers in our crew people we meet looks like there's dinosaur like aliens and there's apparently a thousand planets in this game like I know Todd's lied before but this is just awesome
Friday 20th Street can't come fast enough. I'm excited.